The Wolves think you can. They both wanted this one badly. Wolves struck first. 13 minutes, David Kelly, 1-0. Swindon reckoned they should be on top and set about proving their point with the equaliser just two minutes later. Skipper Paul Bowden inching a shot home. It was checkmate in midfield, but lots of fast moves in both boxes. Town took the lead thanks to a setup by Fjortoft and a strike from Keith Scott. Just before half-time, Wolves came back by route one. Smith and Ball making it happen for David Kelly's second goal. There wasn't so much steam in the second half. Mind you, Joey Beecham's boots were smoking as he raced on to hit the winner. Wolves tried everything to get back and stay on top. The Swindon defence creaked but didn't crack. Same story at the other end. Swindon almost rubbed it in with a four, but they were happy with what they got. Wolves weren't. Wolves crashing in, super stuff. Wolves set the game alight at the county ground with the first goal. 13 minutes lucky for scorer David Kelly. Swindon hit back while Wolves still had their heads in the cloud. Skipper Paul Bowden's shot was inch perfect. Just as well. It was anybody's game, wolves roared, the town alarm bells rang. But it was Swindon who struck first. Hjortoft, tireless as ever, made the break. Keith Scott made the space and took the goal for himself. Winner take all, it had to be, but which way would it go? At half-time it was to all, Wolves hitting town just before the break. Easy build-up, bit of a bundle to finish. David Kelly again. Same story in the second half, checkmate for most of the time, except when the Grand Master, Joey Beecham, moved in for the kill. Good goal for Joey, a vital boost for town. There was no easy run in, Wolves gave it everything. So too did Fraser Digby in goal. And town could have polished them off with a four. Piotov deserved the strike, but 3-2 was about right. Town stay where they were in the table, but they're now just three points.